The Biden administration has been working to get 70% of adult Americans vaccinated by the 4th of July this year with the ultimate goal of getting every American vaccinated. And President Biden announced June is a national month of action. Here to talk more about this is the Assistant Secretary for Health with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Dr. Rachel Levine. Doctor, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. So uh, let me get right into this. Tell us more about this national month of action. Um, I know the goal is everybody or the majority by the 4th of July. Is that realistic? Well, so we are working on uh, on achieving the president's very ambitious goal. Um, and right now, 64 percent of adult Americans have had their first vaccine. But more important than the specific number is just the message that we have safe and effective vaccines. And it's just very important at this time for everyone to go out and get vaccinated. You know, we've seen a, a lot of the incentive programs out there, in, in, including these mil million dollar vaccination lotteries. We've got one here in North Carolina. What does it say about the vaccine if you actually have to bribe people to go out and get it? Well, I, I mean, these vaccines are very important, especially now um, with the Delta variant. Uh, th that we are seeing in the United States. About 10% of the uh, COVID-19 cases um, are the Delta variant, but they have become much more common, for example, in, uh, in the United Kingdom, in Great Britain. And the Delta variant is more contagious. Um, it, it is uh, um, more transmissible, and there's evidence that it's more severe. So for people who aren't vaccinated, now is the time. The, uh, uh, you know, the incentives are just, just a way to try to encourage people who might be somewhat hesitant. Yeah, this week we had uh, new data from a new vaccine from Novavax. So is it likely that we're going to see more vaccine makers um, start to produce more of this? And, and do we really need that? Well, so uh, Novavax um, uh, it has uh, finished, completed some studies which showed that it was very effective. Um, they have not sent their application in to, to the FDA, um, but the world needs as many vaccines as we could get. You know, right now we have enough doses of the Pfizer, the Moderna, and the Johnson Johnson vaccine for, for those of us in, in America. But it's very important for the rest of the world also to get vaccinated, and the more vaccines, the better. What would you say to somebody who says, I don't, I don't need the vaccine. I'm either young enough or I've already had COVID. Do they still need it? Well, uh, if for people who are young, um, um, you know, th there is evidence that, uh, that more and more younger people have uh, become infected with COVID and, and, and had severe outcomes. I mean, uh, very, gotten very sick. Some have had to be hospitalized and up in the intensive care unit. Um, and again, this new variant, the Delta variant, is, if anything, more transmissible and can lead to more severe disease. So it's important that people not be complacent. For those who've had the uh, the, the, uh, the COVID before, we want to make sure that we can boost their immune response with these safe and effective vaccines. All right, Dr. Rachel Levine with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Thanks for the information. It's good to be able to have, you know, co competent, uh, inclusive conversations about all this because I think there are just still so many questions. So thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. And don't forget, everybody, if you have questions about the vaccine, be sure to let us know. You can always text us the word vaccine. That number again, as we always tell you, 704-329-3600.